Okay, so for fruiting or flowering stage, we are going to stop using the nitrogen for fruiting and flowering all the way through. We will begin to increase our phosphorus to 2.8 grams of phosphorus. Our potassium will go up to 0.95 grams. Our kelp will stay at 0.4 grams. Our humic acid will increase to 0.8 grams. Our silica will stay at 0.55 grams. Our yucca is 0.3. No B vitamin. Our cow mag is 1.1 grams. Our full up is 0.3 grams. Our amino A is 0.55 grams. Cane molasses is 0.45 grams. Between 2 and 4 grams of micro bloom stage. 0.25 grams of enzymes. And 1.25 grams of aminos. And remember, all these ratios you will add per gallon and in the same gallon. Okay, so week two, you'll use 2.8 grams of phosphorus, 0.95 grams of potassium, 0.4 grams of kelp, 0.8 grams of humic acid, 0.55 grams of silica, 0.3 grams of yucca, 0.6 grams of B vitamin, 1.1 grams of CalMag, 0.3 grams of full up, 0.55 grams of amino A, 0.45 grams of cane molasses, 2 to 4 grams of micro bloom stage, 0.25 grams of enzymes, and 1.25 grams of aminos. Week 3, we decrease the phosphorus to 1.4 grams. Potassium will stay the same at 0.95 grams. Kelp will stay the same at 0.4 grams. Humic acid will be at 0.8 grams. Silica is at 0.55 grams. Yucca is at 0.3 grams. B vitamin is at 0.6 grams. CalMag is at 1.1 grams. Full up is at 0.65 grams. Amino A is at 0.55 grams. Cane molasses is at 0.45 grams. You'll use the micro bloom stage 2 to 4 grams. Enzymes 0.25 grams. And aminos 1.25 grams. For week 4 and 5, they will stay the same, so I'm just going to read them off for both of them. So week 4 and 5, nothing will change for either column. You'll be giving 0.7 grams of phosphorus. 1.9 grams of potassium, 0.4 grams of kelp, 0.8 grams of humic acid, 0.55 grams of silica, 0.3 grams of yucca, 1.25 grams of B vitamin, 0.55 grams of CalMag, 0.65 grams of full up, 0.55 grams of amino A, 0.9 grams of cane molasses, 2 to 4 grams of micro bloom stage, 0.25 grams of enzyme, and 1.25 grams of aminos. Week 6, you'll use 0.7 grams of phosphorus, 1.9 grams of potassium, 0.2 grams of kelp, 0.4 grams of humic acid, 0.55 grams of silica, 0.3 grams of yucca, 0.6 grams of B vitamin. 0.55 grams of CalMag, 0.65 grams of Full Up, 0.55 grams of Amino A, 0.9 grams of Cane Molasses, 2 to 4 grams of Micro Bloom Stage, 0.25 grams of Enzymes, and 1.25 grams of Aminos. For Week 7, you will use 0.7 grams of Phosphorus, 1.9 grams of Potassium, 0.2 grams of Kelp, 0.4 grams of humic acid, 0.55 grams of silica, 0.3 grams of yucca. You'll use no B vitamin, no CalMag, 0.3 grams of full up, 0.55 grams of amino A, 0.9 grams of cane molasses, no microbe bloom stage, 0.25 grams of enzymes, and 1.25 grams of aminos. For week 8, you'll use 1.2 grams of yucca, you'll use 1.8 grams of cane molasses, 
0.25 grams of enzymes and 1.25 grams of aminos. So this is an important thing to remember here. If you have an eight week, nine week flowering plant, this is where your feed schedule ends. Although if you are growing a sativa plant, you will continue with week seven for week eight, nine, and 10. And then week 11 and 12, you'll treat it as week eight. If you have a 10 week flowering plant, you'll treat week nine and 10 as week eight and you would just continue to keep feeding week seven until you begin those last 10 days roughly into the full maturity of your plants. Okay, I hope you liked this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great grow, everyone.